everybody it's Julie and I'm here with the to make a tassel and I'm using the tassel kit the beauty tassel kit that is in the dear Julie Julie Etsy shop and um, it coordinates along with the courting of Lady Jane digital kit and the other kits so Let's got, get right to it because I said there would be a tutorial to go to go along with this tassel. So this is the kit. You get um, this green and several other trims and ribbons and some gold eyelash. Here are your findings. So it's a tassel and charm kit. So you get this beautiful cameo and all of these fun beads. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So I usually like to start with my trims and this one is pretty big. Now you could just go ahead and use it um, along with your other trims and get something like that but what I tend to like to do is I like my tassel um, trims and ribbons to be about the same size so first of all what I did was I cut the pink one in half so I just went straight up with my scissors and I cut the pink one in half okay and then I took the the green one and I have cut it into three pieces. So I've cut right on <clears throat> this side of the windows and right on this side of the windows. And that gave me three pieces of the green to use throughout. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, and I usually try to put at the base my biggest boldest pieces so this being a thicker piece and this roughly um, off-white cream colored to me is also a pretty bold piece and then I'll add in these now I'm gonna put these over here so that I don't accidentally add something that isn't supposed to be in here now I can come back and I can add some of the other pieces we have this uh, eyelash trim that has the gold in it and um, for this particular uh, these kit this kit this project I'm using golds so we have another white piece we're gonna save that for a minute <clears throat> and let's go ahead and add the other green piece they're going to end up getting all smushed together anyway. We've got our little gold. See, this one has a little bit of gold fleck in it. Now we can add this white one in. This green one. And you don't have to use all your pieces. If, you know, if there's one that you just really don't like in it then you don't have to use it um, like for some projects this right here is not gonna go this does match um, and goes along with the courting of Lady Jane okay with the the darker pink that are in it so um, so I am going to use it there we go. And this tassel is going to be available in my Etsy shop for sale. So I'm putting it through the, the washer folding it and putting it through of course <laughs> sometimes it takes a little more work I 
I'm sorry about the clearing of the throat. I have a tickle today. Okay. So there we have. Okay, and now because I'm using the eyelash trim as my closure this time, I don't have to, I, I don't seem to have to be as worried about how it looks at the top. Um, sometimes if I'm using just the wire, you I want this to look kind of really clean. But we're going to use this gold eyelash trim. I'm going to leave a little bit of edge out. I'm going to go ahead and wrap around. I'm going to come in and wrap together and I'm going to leave it like this because we might use that to attach one of the charms okay so so that is our beautiful tassel and we're going to take our word beauty and this time I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find one of the the trims that are thin enough that I can put through um, the bead. I think I'm going to put it on these two green pieces because I can tie them together. So we're going to, I've, I've pulled out a needle that I can use that just makes this part easier put <laughs> it just makes it easier um, so you can use this here or you could make a charm for your um, okay and I'm gonna pull these up pull them straight and go ahead and tie it in tie the two of them together into a knot Puppy has come in to join us. He's at my feet. And I think he's... Okay, sorry about this. Of course, I picked the silky ones in there. <laughs> they don't want to go where I want them to go. Okay, pull them through. Um... There we go. There we go. Okay, so on one side it says beauty and the other side says secret. And we're just going to hang that so that it hangs in as part of. What do you got, sweetie? What do you got? <laughs> Paper. <laughs> okay, so we have one of our little roses. Every time I pick one of these up and say that, it reminds me of, I think it's in Singing in the Rain. When, uh, oh gosh, what is his name? Not Gene Kelly. We said the Roses Supposes. <laughs> roses Supposes. Anyway. Word orientate or er, association. Okay, so we have this beautiful cameo. I really think that the cameo should go onto the um, tassel if you're if I'm making one or onto the cover because it's beautiful and it is extra special. And of course, I have done this so that it comes this way. We left that so that I would be able to get to it easily. I think it's fun to have a tassel tell a story. One of the, my favorite tassels I ever made was for the Alice in Wonderland mini loaded pocket. Or uh, mini, yeah, I think it was mini loaded. Uh, 
envelope. Mini loaded envelope, I think. For a swap. Okay. So, there you go. So, you, I've added the, the beauty bead and one of the roses to the tassel. They're just randomly in there. I think that's really kind of fun. You could add more um, of your items, which I'm going to do. I was thinking ahead, though. <laughs> like, I'm going to need those. Okay, so again, you can pull out your bead and, um, or your bead, your thread. And let's see, we've got the rose there. I think if we put the bead on one of these maybe. So again, and I'm using this large needle because it's what I have here on my desk for one reason. And another reason is um, to be able to put the trims or the ribbons in easily. Okay, so this probably should have a little bead also. I'm gonna try. I mean, there's all different ways that you can So I put that sparkly little bead and you do have a, a couple of other beads in your kit um, midnight knocked my package my box over that when it was on the kitchen table and <laughs> I got all the big stuff but I can't I couldn't find the littler beads She's very helpful. <laughs> okay, so there we've just we've added this couple of beads. The rose. The rose is here somewhere. The beauty bead. Okay. Well, they're kind of all in the same spot at the moment. They'll move around. But there you go. There we go. Okay, let's put this out of my elbow's way. <clears throat> okay. So now we're going to just go ahead and make um, your kit. The kit, tassel kit, has the um, paper clip in it. And of course, you could just add the rose, um, put, your, put it through the petals or through the, the leaves. Excuse me. one leaf without doing anything there. So you could just have it like this and there you have a paper clip. <laughs> Excuse me. So sorry. Okay, so another thing um, you have some findings that are copper and so for that and one of the things that I would do possibly with a large bead like that is um, is to add a word have to be a small word. It could be the word fly. I like the word fly. Um,
anyway. If I was going to do that, I would use uh, some glossy accents. Now I've lost the word fly. <laughs> there it is. This one is Chit Chat from Tim Holtz. Of course, you can also use one of the words out of... These are the scissors I got. Oh, one of the words out of the book page. Or out of a book page. You just cut a word out of a book page. Okay, I am cutting this. And I'm going to just put it on here. But I've done this um, like on uh, beach glass and stuff. And you just put it on and it would give you another another word in your for your tassel. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm going to use my rounded and jewelry or pliers. These are really cool. You'll see they're both pieces are round and you can go this way and then if you come back on yourself then you get your little round thing there. Okay. Um, and then you can hang something from the bottom. If you have some other kind of little charm, I'm looking, <laughs> I'm looking to see. Well, and then it'll it'll move because it you know, it'll have an elbow. <laughs> Okay, so there we have that. Um, oh, we could just... Okay, so you can just open this up a little bit, add the key. Close it back up. It's easier to use your flat ones to close it. Believe me. I can't even hold the other. This door is all messed up. <laughs> ah. Okay, so get out your flat ones close it up and you'll have the key and then I think we'll give the key this beautiful beautiful and over here to to see oops bent it someone doesn't want to go on so we'll give it this pretty one now yours will have instead of this she'll have a pretty pink one So again, we're going to take it and turn it and see how it's going to come back on itself. And then we'll take it and turn it like that. And that gives us the nice little roundy. Okay. So, and you could add your charms into your tassel or... <clears throat>
you got <coughs> you got one um, one of these paper clips. So, but you can add your charm to a paper clip. Or you did also receive a safety pin. So now when I do it on a safety pin, I will usually, we're gonna undo this, okay. So I will put my safety pin inside like this. And round it around that. And then you have a safety pin with this and you can attach this onto um, onto your journal so we do still have one left and let's see if it happens to be smaller and this will fit no such luck okay what we do we can make just that this might be thinner Because of course you can just add something onto your safety pin as well. I'm going to start it going around. Before I get it to where it closes, I'm going to add it to the safety pin. it together okay needs to be a smaller do you hear the wind oh my gosh the wind is blowing here this it's not blowing like it was this morning this morning it was crazy There we go. So if you're having trouble getting enough of it to meet, then you can go back and make it smaller. Okay. And then stick it in, pull it back, and you can use your flat one to close it. So that gives you that little bead. So like I said, you yours actually has a couple of other small small beads. And so there's some fun little charms that you can make. Um, you can add a piece of ribbon onto the bottom. Let's see. Where your little hole, hole is. Well, I can't, I can't thread that. How about a piece of this? Because it's kind of scraggly down there. This might be interesting trying to thread this, huh? <laughs> You're going, what? You had trouble with that. You're going to try eyelash trim. Okay. So thinking outside the box, because we don't have any more charms left, and we want to make a couple of charms to hang off, then you can use items from, you know, tech the trims from your tassel you could make a little charm use out of your word out of a word okay so now that can hang off there you go um, 
what else? What else can you do? Because we still have one that has nothing on the bottom. So there we go. We have our our charms. You have an extra safety pin left. Remember, you only have one of these. Um, I didn't have that many left, but I thought they would be pretty in the in the kit. So there you go, a tassel and some charms to add to your, uh, your journal. And let's see, since you don't have this, now you can do this or you could just go and put your rose through the safety pin. And if you do that, then when you attach it, like to lace or something, you're just going to come in and attach it. And there you go. Okay. There you go. So find something to celebrate every day. And... Which one do you like better, beauty or secret? I called it beauty. I named I named this tassel beauty. So this set will be uh, for sale in my Etsy shop. Look for uh, look for it there at Dear Julie Julie. Oh, here we go. Let's take this off here. Because <laughs> this is what, this is the set right there. Four charms and a tassel. Have a great day. Thank you for being here. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.